Uh, yeah, hi there. Good afternoon, coaches. Okay, so uh, in this video, I wanted to talk to you about the importance of tournaments and tournament play. Now, especially here in the United States, everything is built towards tournaments. So, for instance, you've got your um, regional state cup, which is the, the major tournament, or maybe you, you play in a uh, second string type uh, state cup. But if you win the state cup as a age group champion from your state, you then move on to regional championships, and then from regional championships you can go on to national championships. So everything here is built towards tournaments. So the importance of tournament play here is huge, it's massive. And so if you're going to be a successful team, you have to figure out how to play well during tournaments and usually you have to figure out how to play well as the tournament progresses and the competition in the tournament gets more and more difficult. Uh, the um, Women's World Cup is on right now and the uh, Men's Gold Cup uh, and, and I'm studying those games on television, I'm watching the, the, the teams play on television and you'll no you notice that in the early rounds you're playing against teams that are perhaps not as good as you um, fitness wise they're inferior, technically they're inferior, tactically they're inferior but as the tournament pushes on towards the later stages when you get to the round of 16 or the quarterfinals, the semi-final and even on to the final the level of competition improves, the teams you're playing against are better the players you're playing against are better, the coaches you're playing against are better the tactics the techniques, the quality improves and it gets better. The fitness gets better. So every tournament you play is a barometer, if you like, for the, the tournaments that matter to you when you get to the end of the season or when you get to wherever it is in the season that you play those tournaments. In being able to get used to playing five games in four days, five games in uh, three days, whatever it is that you need to do to win those tournaments, you're actually um, helping your players to get miles in their legs so that they can play two games a day. They can play four games in two, two days, you know, so that they have the ability to be able to recover quickly and get back onto the field within a few hours and play another game at a high level. And without that tournament play, without the opportunity to build up to that, it's very difficult to go from playing one game a week to playing five games in four days or three days, whatever it is, depends on the tournament. So for me, the most important aspect of tournament play is it allows your players and you as coaches to get up to that level, to be able to get to the point where you can perform at tournament level. The other thing it does is it gives you an opportunity to be able to assess your players and see if your players can play at that high level consistently and ongoingly. And you have to be able to decide if you have the right group of players that can do that. And, and that can change your season. So, you know, for me, I'll play maybe four or five um, tournaments in a season building up to the main tournament at the end of the season so that the players can get used to doing that in scenarios where maybe the weather's a bit warmer, maybe the um, competition is a bit stiffer and they have to play against teams that, that they maybe wouldn't face anywhere else. So, you know, there's many, many benefits to playing tournament play throughout the season so that your players can get used to that type of, of performance. All right, okay, so that was just a quick video to share with you. Thanks a lot. Take care, bye.